the moment we've all been waiting for, the $100,000 candy bar. Today I come before you to offer the greatest food challenge video on YouTube, period. For you to truly understand how great this video is, you need to know a little brief history about it. So I made this helpful visual aid, the food challenge pyramid of YouTube. At the bottom and what seems to be the most common is the versus series of the same food with varying prices. I'm talking the $11 versus the $306 steak, the three versus 250 sushi, the $1 versus $332 water. You know them, you love them, you've seen them, you've clicked on them. This paper, what is, what? What? Up a little higher on the pyramid, just the all you can eat challenge. I'm talking the 203 Chips Ahoy challenge. I'm talking the entire Popeye's family meal in one city. And finally, the cream of the crop at the top of the pyramid and what makes the most sense to me is the gummy versus the real. It's where you take like, I don't know, like pizza and then you also take a gummy version of pizza and you compare them. Not get that's it, that's, now I know what you're thinking. That's stupid. But no, 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 let me tell you. I feel like they're the most entertaining and thought-provoking content on the internet. Now that you know all about food challenges, what are we gonna do today? What, what's gonna make this the best food challenge video ever? Guess what? Boy. All of them! We're doing them all! All three! That's right. I got my charisma on, I got the food in the pantry, and we're gonna go do it. Challenge number one. So for the $1 candy bar, I went with Snickers. And, okay, I should say this for the sake of my conscience. It was actually only 89 cents, so I apologize for the clickbait. Okay, <clears throat> and now are you ready for the 100,000 candy bar? You ready? One dollar versus the 100 grand. <laughs> it's really weird to actually be holding it because it's been inside of a glass case inside my safe that was protected by my bodyguard. So we're gonna start with the dollar candy bar. It's pretty good. It really tastes like a dollar. If I think about biting into a dollar bill, this is what I imagine it would taste like. It smells like $100,000. The moment we've all been waiting for. The $100,000 candy bar. Boy, oh boy. Man, oh man. That was delicious. Really, the only negative thing I could say about it at all would be, I, would, I probably wouldn't pay 100,000 for it. <laughs> a real Snickers bar versus a squishy one. I just, I, I put it in the microwave. Look, I could do this like a Dairy Queen worker with a blizzard, check this out. <laughs> all right, so for the regular Snickers, it's pretty good. Ew. And finally, get ready for it. All right, you're ready. The Asterix from Walmart. Asterix, my local Walmart. You may have like a, a Walmart super center near you that has a better selection than my Walmart. I don't really know. Whatchamacallit, more like Houchima's still on the market, no one ever buys you. <laughs> Reese's, yeah right, more like feces. <laughs> Hershey's, more like eat too many of these, you're gonna end up in a Hersh. Butterfinger, more like false advertisement, there's no butter or fingers in here. <laughs> take five, haha, <laughs> yeah right, more like only take two, there's only two of these things in here. Zero bar, more like you're gonna lose zero pounds this week if you eat it. <laughs> Three musketeers, more like Oreo bar, more like huh, another example of why I should think inside the box and not try to do anything different because this is stick to the cookies. Crunch, yeah right, more like Apple factory worker that makes five cents an hour from China's lunch, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Twix, more like we saw the marketing success of Civil War and Twilight and the whole Team Edward, Team Jacob, Team, team Iron Man, Team Captain America, the whole penny each other up against each other stuff and try to make it a competition whole thing and how successful it is and we're trying to do our own version of that with the whole left twix and right twix except ours makes absolutely no sense and it's stupid and there's no such thing as either one the whisk and the crisp onto the stupid onto all right comment below jokes for these because i can't think of jokes for these 
but I want to show them off. I, ha I have every single one, guys. Comment down below your awesome jokes. That are, it's gonna be tough to beat my jokes, but you can you can try. <sighs> Mita naked, the Greek word that means nothing in excess. Only take what you need, nothing more. The words I live by every single day. I feel considerably heavier, heavier. It is currently affecting my speech. I, I'll probably show the throw up just to prove to you that I actually, that it's real throw up and it's not like water or something. So here's that. There you go. Me eating all of these is real. I wouldn't lie to you, I'm a very spiritual man. I'm going to prove to you with absolute certainty, unequivocal proof that I absolutely ate every single one of them. I'm gonna show you all the empty wrappers. Can't contest me after that. I should probably explain what this envelope is. Uh, you know, I went to the doctor the other day and, um, cause I haven't been feeling well. And here it is. Um, <clears throat> So he said, you know, maybe it's your diet, you should get allergy tested. So I was like, okay, yeah, that probably applies to me. I eat food. <laughs> so uh, this is the results from that. Um, <clears throat> wow, <laughs> I'm actually pretty healthy. Uh, I'm, I'm only allergic to one thing. They're some cacao, they're brown cacao, I don't know. <laughs> but this is, I'm severely allergic. Like I should avoid it at all costs or else I'll end up uh, hospitalized or dead, so. In moderation, basically. <clears throat> Siri, what is the bromo cacao? The bromo cacao is what's used to make chocolate. I would like to talk about how disproportionately the white candy bars. <laughs> wow, or you have to open up another wrap. Like, I'll let this slide with Starburst because they're delicious. All right, but Starburst earned it. You're new. You're new on the block. You don't just get to. You know how people say you're doing really well on YouTube if you have a lot of haters? What is this? Huh? Huh, guys? Zero dislikes? <laughs> Sorry, somebody go dislike this video, please. Got my new awesome camera here. Oh, the card is full, though. <laughs> let, me see, let me see what's on it. Wow, that makes sense. A lot of you have been asking me in the comments, please bring back AOS Alice. We miss it. So I'm proud to announce right now for you that you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> Remember how I did the skit that my apartment was haunted? Look at this. During the bloopers, zoom in on my hair. That's a face. I did not edit that. You can go look for yourself. There's a face in my hair. My apartment is haunted, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah, I'm eating. I'm actually on a diet. I'm counting calories and I'm going to the gym and stuff. Yeah, no, I need to... No, I need... Okay. Yeah. Alright, I need... Okay, bye. Yeah, okay, okay, bye. Exclusive time. An illustrious tour of my food collection. That's it. That's all the food I have in my entire apartment. Like, dead serious. Look, here, I'll show you. Nothing. Nada. No, nothing edible there. Nope. How many milligram ounces of sugar do you think are in this pantry right now? Just take a gander, just take a, take a wild guess. <laughs> it looks like I'm a diabetic that's trying to commit suicide. <laughs> People always make fun of me for talking with my hands all the time, so I figured, you know what, I'm gonna do the entire outro with just my hand. <laughs> all right guys, make sure that you click right there, that button right there to subscribe to me. And then as soon as you're done with that, Make sure you press this little bell icon and you'll get a notification whenever I put up a video tomorrow. Yeah, all right, so that's it for me.